this is Liz. Welcome to my channel. For those of you coming back, thank you so much. For those of you who haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. If you like fashion, a little bit of luxury, and some lifestyle, this is the place for you. Today I'm going to be going over some pieces that I picked up at Zara. Now what I thought about is I picked up these combat boots the last time I went to Zara. I've already worn them. I wore them with that black baby doll dress that you see during that um, haul. But I thought, what else could I incorporate? How else can I style those combat boots? So I went into Zara over the weekend and I looked through the whole store and I picked up some items and I want to share them with you. The Zara I went into this time was not the usual Zara I, I go into. So the setup was different and it gave me like a whole new place to explore. But the pieces I picked up, I first thought of with combat boots, because the combat boot is such a like rough kind of rugged look, I thought I would give it a girly element with this floral mini skirt. And right now this is selling at Zara for $35.90. And I'm gonna style it for you so you can see how I would wear it with my combat boots. Now, another thing that I always think about when I think about combat boots are plaid. So I saw this plaid skirt. They also have this in a dress. And I'm thinking this looks so Christmassy, but also with a combat boot, it gives it that like naughty schoolgirl look. Like she's the wild rebel in the bunch at school that wears her her school uniform with her combat boots. Now this skirt is selling for also $35.90. And it's actually shorts, so it's what skirt. A skirt. It has that ruffle detail in the front. Can you see that? That beautiful checker that always comes out every Christmas. And the floral skirt also has that ruffle in the front. Okay, the next piece I picked up, just because I like the way it felt and I like the look of it, is this turtleneck. And this one was $9.90. And that's like a basic little piece that's fun to have. Then I saw this neckline. Now I am seeing this neckline so much that I wanted to give it a try. It has these two little buttons on the side. And this was $22.90. Now I don't usually like to be too revealing on top, so I'm gonna see what this looks like on, but I was so, so interested in this neckline, like this little piece here with the cutout tank. I wanna see what that looks like on. And the last piece I picked up, is this dress the ruching the fitted look with the laces on the side this dress is $22.90 and I picked it up in a small I'm gonna try all of this on and style it with the combat boots so you can see what it looks like and hopefully you get some ideas for mixing and matching with your combat boots that you have at home off to the try-on session for the first outfit, I gave it a white fitted button down. I have a black bandeau underneath. You can see that. I paired it with my jumbo bag, my jumbo Chanel bag. So you still have classy mixed with the trendy. You're wearing your combat boots. You have this checkered skirt with the ruffle that actually they're shorts, so a skirt. And this is current season Zara and this button down as well. You can take your own little bandeau, mix it with your combat boots, and that's the first look. I feel that this way you can still put together the trend piece with the classic. Step back so you can get a full view. And that's my first look for my combat boot look. For this look, I took the same skirt and I just added a black turtleneck bodysuit. And this I just wanted to show you that maybe if you're not so comfortable trying a lot of trends that you tried more of a classic look, like a classic turtleneck. And the fun trendy part of your outfit are the, the booties. So you're still yourself, but you're bringing in a trend piece. So you have to always remain yourself when you're putting outfits together. Just because something is in style doesn't mean that you want to look the exact same way the style or the trend is being portrayed. So this is more 
very, very classic. You still have the little skirt look. You have the combat boots, but very simple. And simplicity is beautiful. The classic, very elegant. Which one was your favorite, one or two? I'm enjoying this skirt. So fun, unlike anything I have, and if I wouldn't, I wouldn't have purchased these boots, I would have never been looking for something like this. I want to let you see the full view, and it's at a really good price point. It's perfect for the holidays. Okay, I'll try on the next piece. Okay, for this look, I decided to just pair that with a black tank. This is a Zara tank that they always carry. They make it in several colors now. I've even seen new colors like baby blue and more of a khaki color. But this skirt has this ruffle that runs all across the front. And this one is a skirt. And there's one big ruffle on the bottom. Now, I always feel that with combat, boot, it's, combat boots, it's really nice to add the girly element because that's such a, like, a rugged, rough element. So you're mixing the girl and boy vibes together make a very opposite but unexpected look. And I have this little jacket. I mean, most of us own a little moto jacket for chillier weather. For those of you that have, you know, real fall right now, it's still summer here in Puerto Rico. And a little moto jacket gives it a little bit more edge to that really girly, girly, colorful pink and purple skirt. Come closer so you could look at it. So those two elements work really well. It's kind of unexpected, the boy and the girl, the rough and the soft, the girly and the masculine. And that is my second look. I wanna show you the skirt with a long sleeve top for those of you that have colder weather, but this is it with the tank. Okay, everything else is the same. I just wanted to show it to you with a long sleeve bodysuit. And I'm gonna link this one below as well so that if you like it more with the long sleeve, you can pick that up. I grabbed my Jumbo Chanel and I like that it has the silver that picks up on the silver on the combat boots. And this is everything else the same, just a longer sleeve so that you can see like if you wanna winterize this and you can go even further putting a pair of black OPEG tights with it. But this is it with the long sleeve bodysuit. Which one do you like more? The tank with the jacket or the long, long sleeve bodysuit? Let's keep going. My next piece is this black dress with the ruching. It's like a rib. It has all this ruching detail here. And that is something that you can still keep it casual, but you have your combat boot in there. And I just feel like so so unexpected to have like a fitted dress on then with clunky boots on usually in my style i would choose something cleaner pointier elegant but i think this is so comfortable and cute and it makes a statement it's a bodycon more of a bodycon style i paired my little odonesis no ophidia ophidia back with it and I think it looks really nice together. The contrast again of the clunky boot with the fitted silhouette balances each other out. And I like that this one is playful with the ruching here and the price point is really good for this one as well. It's part of more of their casual collection. What do you guys think? I wanted to show you a different way of wearing a dress with your combat boots and that's what I'm gonna show you next. Little Gucci bag, ruching ribbed. And I'll show you the next dress that I think works really nicely with combat boots. Okay, this is another way that you can rock your combat boots. It's with a very, very girly baby doll dress. And I just wanted to show you, this isn't part of the haul, but it's current season Zara. So if it's something that you like, I'll link it in the description box and you can pick it up. But this is another way to play up the girly versus the 
the rough part of the combat boot, putting on a really baby doll dress. And I just grabbed a little bag that I added a pearl strap to. So the dress and the bag, very girly. And it's a complete opposite to what the boots are, which are you know, clunkier, a little bit more of a rougher look. But you can decide. What do you like wearing with your combat boots? Something more girly and baby doll, swings, very feminine, or do you like something more of a bodycon? So I wanted to show you two ways of styling your combat boots when you're wearing a dress. So those are the two that I came up with, a baby doll and a bodycon. Let me know which one you like the best. Okay, next I took that sleeveless turtleneck that I picked up at Zara that's part of this haul and I paired it with dark uh, gray jeans I thought that uh, you could also do black but I thought since it's this lighter gray I would give it this gray wash jean and basically don't we live in jeans so I thought this would be the perfect thing to show you that you can also just do a jean look with your combat boots and this is the denim I chose. It has a little bit more detail in it. They call it like a moto jean, so that you can bring in the element of the combat boot with your moto denim. Put a little bag on with it. And this is a look that I'm sure most of you will enjoy wearing. It's very simple and very statement without trying too hard. Just sleeveless mock, uh, sleeveless turtleneck with jeans and your moto boots so that was my jean look for styling the combat boot this is the last piece from the haul um this shirt was a little tricky if you want to get this shirt you definitely have to wear a racer back uh, bra and you have to kind of tuck it under this part so it's a little different I've never purchased a shirt like this. This is a little different so that your bra doesn't show. You have to kind of manipulate the straps. But, um, okay, so I wanted to show you with the combat boot that you can also wear the leather or pleather short trend that's in right now and just give yourself a little bit more of a statement top. I also have uh, another sleeveless mock that is completely closed here. So that's something else as an option, but I just went for this one because it was so different looking and I, I am seeing this sort of cutout, cutout tank look, turtleneck tank situation, but it is very cropped. So the only reason you're not seeing my belly is because these shorts are so high-waisted. So if you're comfortable showing your belly, then it's fine, but if you're not, you might need a higher-waisted um, pair of jeans or higher-waisted pants or something like what I have on, which are the leather leggings. These are from Nordstrom. So yeah, so the shirt is a little different. And, um, but I think that these little shorts are what pulls together the whole look. It has the silver buckle with the silver studs on the combat boots. I grabbed my jumbo bag. And so you can still bring in your normal self of the classic looking yourself, <laughs> classic looking. Uh, bag with a little bit more on trend pieces like this turtleneck tank situation. Okay, I went ahead and I grabbed this sleeveless turtleneck that's also current season from Zara and I paired it with the pleather shorts. I just wanted to show you that if you have something more covered up because the other one was very exposed up on top, it still works really nicely. And basically, with the combat boots, you can come to the conclusion that I have it on with these pleather shorts, but anything that is that pleather look, whether it's jeans, a legging, a A-line skirt, or even a fitted skirt, just bringing in that edgy element with your moto boots and maybe more of a simple top puts it together very nicely. So I'm showing it to you with these shorts, but like I said, anything that you have in your closet that works, you can copy this look to give it that edgy element. If you've come this far in my video, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know which one was your favorite look. Which piece do you think you might incorporate into your wardrobe? Let me know how you wear your combat boots. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.